What kind of burritos does this one like? Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Class Armada Megatron. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have a lovely image of Mugs in his robot mode, in his own mode, Legacy Evolution. He is a Leader Class, Class Leader, Leader Class, a Leader, Transformers. On this side of the box, we have the lovely Legacy artwork. On this side, we have some more of Megs and Megs. Up top, Legacy Evolution. QR code, you want to scan it? Free scan on me, you're welcome. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, the Evo Fusion. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Armada Megatron, our newest leader in this legacy line. And here he is in his alt mode. He is packed in alt mode. Yay! Um, but yeah, here he is in his tank mode. I think it looks pretty good. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see right up front, we got a little bit of silver. We got some yellow there for those lights. A little bit of orange. I think this both sides should be painted orange, actually, but they only painted on one side. Weird, but okay. Things, stuff, reasons, I don't know. <laughs> you got some orange right here on the cannon. Um, this section of the cannon is packed separately. Um, you can use this for other things, but just pops in right there. You can see that's a bit of a molded detail as well. You got these sections here. Again, you got a little bit of gunmetal gray on these panels. Turret itself. Has some nice silver, one of the Decepticon symbol, some more bits of silver, some purple, some more orange. You get some more spots of silver here and there. You can see his toesies just hanging out the back there. Again, some nice molded detail throughout. And there is the top, there is the bottom. It is visible head syndrome. You can't see his face, but I mean his head, his head is it's right there. It's right there. He has the little rolling tires here, so he can roll. As rolling things should. Hooray for rolling, killing things. And for comparison, here it is with the uh, fans hobby. Armada Megs, just so you can see how that works out. And here he is with the original. Armada Megatron. Is it precious? I'm gonna call it precious. It's so oh, so precious. And last but not least, here it is with our legacy Armada Optimus Prime, and they look quite, quite good together, so there you go. Now as far as accessories go, um you don't get any. You don't get any, um just the uh Cannon barrel end here is the only thing that's packed separately, and that is it. Now, um, articulation-wise, the cannon itself can move up and down. The turret can rotate, but it doesn't do a full 360. If you're going this way, it only goes that far. If you're going this way, it'll stop right there. And it's just, yeah, just a, there's just a stopper in there, so... You can't do a full 360 with it, don't know why, but you can do a full 360. Um, this section here can come up. Unfortunately, it doesn't angle forward, so it's always just sticking straight up <laughs> because reasons. This actually can rotate if you want it to, but again, you can't actually get it to angle at least a little bit forward like the original could. Um, but again, thing you can do if you want to do it, and uh, that is pretty much it. It doesn't have, it, it does not have any of the gimmicks that the original figure had with the low ramps and everything. It doesn't have any of that. Pretty much what you see is what you get. And there is no mini con, but there are tons of ports like all over this figure, so you can plug some Battle Masters, Micro Masters, so you can totally still kind of do the mini con thing if you want to, but yeah, there are ports all over the thing, so you know, that's a case of, you know, improvise. I personally don't care about the Minicon gimmick, but, you know, if you want it, there are ways to go about it, so. That is pretty much it for the tank mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, you can get a pretty good spell out of him, but let's get down to transformation. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up his feet, so just flip out the toes, and they're yeah, very tight. Flip down the heel, flip up the toe, and they definitely lock in place. Flip down that heel, and you got that done. Then you're gonna come to the underside here, and you're gonna pop open these green panels. Just undo them so you can undo the leg 
and extend it out. Then just close that panel up. Same thing here, just bring this leg out. It just hooks in with a little hook tab that goes right in here, and there's also a little tab that goes in there. So just undo all that so you can extend the leg outward. Close that panel up, and then you can bring the legs down. You're then going to take the turret and just flip it out like so. And that will give you the clearance to rotate the waist around. Once you've done that, you close this back up. And then you can take this turret and just angle it down. And this is how they want you to have it oriented per the instructions. But you can do other things. And now to work on the armular region, you want to take these panels here with the Decepticon symbols and just flip them up. Flip them up. You have this black section right here that you're going to untab from this tread section and just bring it down. Once you've done that, you're gonna take the entire shoulder assembly here, just bring it down and just rotate this back up. You wanna make sure that this little hinge comes all the way down so it's sitting right there like that. Once you've done that, open up this panel. You can then flip out the arm, flip out his hand, and just bring that the rest of the way down. Close that up bring this panel down and you got your arm all done and second verse guess what is just like the first so this little black section here unclip it bring it down and then just shift the shoulder all the way down open this up flip out the arm flip out the hands and just bring that the rest of the way down close that up bring that down and you got the arms all done and last thing to do is just open up this chest panel that you can flip in this little face cover. Close that back up. And there you go. There you have Armada Megs in his robot mode. And he looks like Armada Megatron. I can work with it. I can work with it. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. I personally dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his abs, but at his noggin. Oh, there it is. And a pretty good looking face sculpt there. Silver for the face, red for the eyes. You have some nice metallic coloration right here in the head as well. You have his horns. His horns are bendy. Um, they also like to pop out a lot while you're transforming him. They're just pegged in. I may end up gluing these in because it's kind of annoying because they, they fall out quite a lot while you're transforming him. But you got the nice silver there on the chest. And have those nice Decepticon symbols on the shoulders. Silver abs. Got some bits of orange there on the waist. Some nice mold detail there on the forearms. Got some plating there going on. One of his hands, as you can see, is molded and kind of like a kind of open, kind of like the claw, you're scared of the claw <laughs> kind of position here. And then one is just a closed fist. Uh, you got some asymmetry there in the legs. But again, some details are picked out in silver. You got the big old toesies. You got some heelys. And of course, you have the turret backpack, which is accurate. It's supposed to be there. So, all in all, not too shabby. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So, you get some wiggly waggly. Not a lot, but a little bit of wiggly waggly. Can look a little bit up, a little bit down. Head can do a full 360. The joint is quite snug on mine. Arms um, cannot rotate a full 360. You basically have your rotation joint right here. So, basically, the shoulder will tell you how far the arm is allowed to go. So, you can get out that far back that's pretty much it outward you can get out about that far if you really want to you can always kind of open up this panel you can get a little bit extra just depends on how you work things um you do a bicep rotation you have a bit over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow you have wrist rotation and of course as you can see the shoulders move outward but again that's more a transformation thing but you can kind of get a little bit a little bit extra outward there if you kind of use those joints and kind of finagle things around but it just kind of depends what you're doing there with the arms you can see again with the horns the horns i might have to glue these horns in i don't like that they keep popping out hey you behave uh you have waist rotation the legs they can move forward that far it's a soft ratchet can move back about that far if you get around the backpack outward you can do the full splits i think and some extra Woo! can do a lot of splits you got thigh rotation you have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee right here pretty good ratchet joint 
And as far as the feet go, um, the toes cannot move up. They can move down. Of course, you have to kind of like unlock them to get them to move down. Um, same thing with the heel. You can move the heel down if you need to support any posing. And you do have a good amount of ankle tiltage. You can see how some detail gets revealed when you engage for that. Now we do have turret options because of course you need turret options, but if you want, you can totally bring this under his arm, have it sitting right there like that and have that going on. Thing you can do if you want to do it, or if you want, you can bring his arms out. You can extend his waist like so. And you want to take the turret here and just bring it down so you can swing this entire waist section around. You're swinging just the purple piece. Swinging this around to the front, and then you can close this up, bring that forward, and then bring this forward. You can rotate that around, do what you want there, and then just compress his body back down, and now you can have this configuration going on. Things you can do if you want to do it. Options, they're good. And yes, the cannons are bluish compatible. Yes, they are bluish compatible. Oh yes, so we could plug one in right here. We can also plug one into this and we can do a big old double armada. Bloosh. It's that armada bluish. It's bluish and his armada. And one more option that we have here is we can remove the cannon barrel. We can flip in his hand. We can do this on either side. And you can plug this onto that post. And now you have cannon hands. So we can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff right there. So there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with Armada Starscream and Armada Hotshot. With Earthrise Megs, if you want to see how that works out. Here he is with the fans hobby, Armada Megatron. So you can see how they scale with one another. And here he is with the original Armada Megs, because precious, oh so precious. Here he is with Armada Prime, the uh, the base robot mode anyway. And Armada Optimus in his super mode. So there you go. So there you have Armada Megatron. And um, yeah, I dig him. You know, it's a good sculpt. It looks really good in both modes. Um, my only real complaint is I just, I wish there was more to him. Now, I wasn't expecting him to have all the bells and whistles that the original figure had, because I know in this day and age that's an unrealistic expectation. <laughs> I'm very well aware of that, and I wish other people were, but I know I'm well aware of that. It's just, you know, it, it's that's not going to happen. And like, have like the little, you know, a little hand blade or something like the original had. I don't know, just, the, just a little more to him I was hoping for. But it's still a solid figure. I do quite like him, and overall, very happy to add him to my collection. So, there you go! Now I picked this up from CMD Store, but you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Class Armada Megatron, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face. All right, Prime. Oh, why do you always have to be taller? Why? Why do you always have to be taller? Oh, just good jeans, I guess. But seriously, what what's going on here? Well, what are you talking about? The shoulder pads. I mean, come on. It's a little, uh, a little extreme, isn't it? Seems like you're kind of uh, overcompensating. I mean, what? Do you think the uh, shoulder pads are going to make you look taller or something? It's a fashion choice! Huh. Maybe you should change your name to Mega Sensitive. Shut up!